All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapadash. Double honors to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone, taught us his truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe, and also the brothers that teach his word in sincerity. I'm the brother Iwa Lummi from the GMS Chicago branch here in Chicago, come back, uh, coming back at you with another lesson, a walking talk. You know, talking about the brotherhood, you know, how to, you know, basically uh, entreat your brother. You know, the brother that stand next to you on the line. The brother that wars with you week in, week out. You know, for the names, lifting up the names of Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, just to basically talk about it because, what, it's been a heavy topic, you know, in Israel lately. You know, how to treat your brother, you know, being charitable to, uh, towards your brother. Or whatever the case may be. So, um, this is the book of Matthew. I'm going to start at Matthew 22. And, um... Uh, I'm going to start at 37 and I'm going to just jump into the point. This is the book of Matthew 22 and 37. It says, And Yahweh shall send unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Verse 38. And this is the first and great commandment. Verse 39. It says, And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Right. We're supposed to show, you know, we're supposed to show, you know, show love in this, uh, and it's truth, you know, one towards another. You know, we can't be, you know, like these two thirds out here, you can't be niggas towards each other. You know, this is not what the brotherhood is about. You know, you know, you can't, and also to say also, you can't leech off a brother. You know, you can't do that. That's not loving your brother. You know, you're supposed to love your brother as he loves you. You know, so I'm gonna read that again. This is the book of Matthew 22 and 39. It says, in the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Rise and red, that's your how shot talking. You know, you should love that, uh, your neighbor as yourself. You know? Uh, verse 40 says, In these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Right. You know, when your brother's short on something, when your brother's in need, you help your brother out. You know? Don't be like a two-third out here, you know, taking advantage of your brother. Because what? This is not what this thing is about. You know? When your brother is beat down, when your brother's in need, you help your brother up. You know? This is what this thing is about. The brotherhood. You know, how was y'all, you know, was talking about us in red. You know, I just read it. You know how serious it is. You know? So, um, bear with me for a second. This is the book of John 13 to 35. And it says, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have love one to another. Right, you know you're a true, you know, uh, you, you know, you're being one of the true men of the Lord, you show uh, love towards your brother. You know? Because a lot of people show fake love out in the world. You know? A lot of people pretend that they love you, but that's not the case. So I'm gonna read this again. Because this, this is really a heavy scripture. This is the book of John 13 and 35. And it says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. Right. You show one, uh, love to one to another, and that's plain. You know? When you help your, you know, you, you, you be by your brother's side. Help your brother up. You know, if your brother need a ride, if your brother need some money, if your brother need help with a particular breakdown, if your, if your brother need help with a scripture, you help that brother. You know? We ain't, no, we ain't about that, you know, that nigga shit, you know, uh, in his brotherhood. You know, that's for the people in the world. That's for the two-thirds in the world. You know, we sincerely love, you know, we're supposed to show love in this brotherhood. You know, not that fake love you show just to, you know, to basically you hope it benefits you. That's not what this thing is about. You know, taking advantage of one another. Let's continue. Um, the book of John 15 and 13 it says greater love have no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends right the brother that war with you you know week in week out you know on the line you know battling uh, battle the elements battling these you know these scoffers these you know these uh yeah these scoffers that come up you know they try to basically come up against you that brother that stands beside you on the line week in and week out you know you're supposed to show that type of love, you know, for that brother. Even if it means laying down, you know, your life for that brother. 
you know? That's great love right there, you know? That's how you can, as the scriptures say, you know, you're supposed to prove a friend, you know? So I'm going to read this again. This is the book of John 15 and 13. It says, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And right, the true friends are the, uh, the brothers in his brotherhood, not the niggas of the world, you know? This brotherhood goes beyond that nigga shit that these niggas show in the world, you know? These niggas, you know, in the world, just for example, you know, they'll use you and abuse you, you know, and take everything that you have, you know? But um, let's continue. This is the book of 1 John 4 and 20. And it says, If a man say, I love you, uh, love you, how and hateth his brother, he is a liar. But he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, it says, how can he love Yahweh whom he have not seen? Right, and that's basically plain. You know, you can't love Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai and hate your brother. Because I read back in Matthew, the, 20, uh, the 22nd chapter, how um, how it talks about the, sec, uh, the uh, it's a greater commandment just like it. Thou shalt love thy brother as thyself. You know? And if you break that commandment, you know, you're not showing true love to Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai. You know? You know, because what well, everything you do to a brother, you're just like you're doing it to you know to your how about shimmy I was shot. So we have to show love, we have to show charity, you know, amongst each other. You know, we have to lift each other up. So this is what this brotherhood is about at the end of the day. You know, not that um, not that nigga shit that these niggas show in the world, because these niggas will stab you in the back. You know, that's what this, that's not what this brotherhood is. Uh, was, uh. That's not what this brotherhood is about, you know, you know, stabbing each other in the back. You know, we're supposed to uplift each other up in the spirit. This is the book of Hebrews 13 and 1, and I'm going to close out with this one. It says, let brotherly love continue, and that's plain. Let, brother, let brotherly love continue, you know, and that's plain, you know. So you were supposed to continue to lift one another in the spirit, you know, to help one another. That's what this is all about, you know. So with that being said, I hope it was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise and glory to you. How about Shem? Yeah, I was shy about Shem. Kapa Dash. I want to say thank you to the apostles of Great Millstone Talks. And salutations to the host we like that's around the four corners of the globe. I hope this is edifying. Until next time, wah, a ba ba ba.